Hey, everybody, it's Anthony and Andrew here with another weekly Las Vegas advisor update for you. Today is Wednesday, September 22nd. And uh, what's going on in the news right now is that Mount Charleston has been destroyed. Um, well, not the mountain, but the uh, Mount Charleston <laughs> Lodge, right? You know, which is up there. Uh, it's uh, a lodge that people have gone to for years. It's about 40 miles from Vegas, uh -huh. uh, 7,000 feet above sea level. And it's a place that uh, people would go to get away from the heat during the summer. Mm -hmm. And it was totally destroyed in a fire. That's horrible. And it's also, for people who don't know, during the winter, Mount Charleston, there's uh, places to go skiing and snowboarding. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's that's up in the whole uh, Mount Charleston ski area. You know, it's, it's like a recreation area. But the lodge was kind of the, the key thing. People would go up there whether they were going to go outside or not. They'd go up there for dinner. They'd go up there to stay overnight to kind of a staycation. It was it was nice. Yeah. What did you do when you went up there? Uh, I I went on several occasions. I mean, I actually I, I stayed overnight once or twice, oh. and you know they have like just nice quaint rooms, or they used to. Um, they you know they had a pretty good uh, a pretty good restaurant there. Okay. So it was fun. It's just something different to do. You know, it's it's uh, 110 degrees down here, and it's 70 degrees up there. Right. So it was fun to do during the summer. And I guess the good news is that they are uh, going to be building uh, building it back better than before. Yeah. Well, you know, it was um, it's owned by uh, the owners of Ellis Island. Okay. So Gary Ellis is uh, the main guy there, and, and uh, Gary's already been in the news saying that he's going to build it back. Okay. So I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it was sad news. You yeah, know, it, definitely. It was a big fire, and it, it destroyed the whole thing. It was sad news, but it sounds like they're going to bring it back. All right. Um, sounds good. Now, Monday night football happened uh, this week, and uh, Anthony went to uh, – how many strip clubs did you go to? Well, it, strip clubs, right? I mean, why did I go to strip clubs? You know, I went to 12. Okay. And the reason I did it is that it's part of what I do every year when Monday Night Football comes along. Every second week of Monday Night Football, I go to strip clubs. Okay. And because for years, they had some of the best parties in Vegas, and they still do. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not like it used to be. Yeah. And just like the rest of it, we talked about last week how there weren't as many in the casinos. I have the 12 I went to. Uh, there were only two worth talking about. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what were the best two strip club parties for football? Well, the only two really good parties, one was Play It Against Sam. Okay. And Play It Against Sam is a smaller club that's um, it's, it's actually near uh, Huntington Press office, uh, uh -huh. Las Vegas Advisor office, and it's on uh, Spring Mountain Road. Um, they have free pizza, mm -hmm. so it's cool. That's, cool. You know, that's good. I mean, it's all the pizza you can eat. They had just a ton of it there. Yeah. Um, they had the games on, all of the, all of the things. They actually were the only place that had... Uh, dancers dancing. Oh, really? They had okay. actually topless dancers dancing. If you're, you know, interested in that, most people want to go watch the games. Uh, nothing great on drinks. The beers were six bucks. Uh, well, drinks were six bucks. Mm -hmm. But this is one of only two strip clubs in all of Vegas that has live video poker. Well, that's one of the reasons I like played against Sam too, is because they do have uh, a bar with video poker, so you can be like entertained in so many different. Yeah, and ways. you can get your drinks for free. Yeah. So I mean, instead of paying six bucks for a beer, I paid twenty bucks. But you know, <laughs> what the heck? It's a good game. Seven five bonus poker, better than most places that have six five. Okay. And for those who are interested, the only other one is a, a real small club called Club Pat Platinum. That's on uh, East Flamingo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. Okay. The second party and the, that's worth going to and the best party uh, was Sapphire. And it's, all, yeah. it's been like that just about every year. Sapphire has an unbelievable Monday night presence. Um, now, you've got to pay for this one. It's 25 bucks. In the past, it's been 20 It's up to 25 But you get two drinks, mm -hmm. and it's pretty much premium stuff. I mean, you can get Call Brands uh, uh, liquor. You can get Heineken, uh, you know, Stella, you know, whatever mm -hmm. they have that's premium. Um, and they've got a buffet. Mm -hmm. I mean, they've got a full buffet. That's great. Yeah, chicken finger, I mean, chicken wings, salad, uh, another chicken dish, a bunch of desserts, donuts and pies. That you know, sounds like awesome. That. Yeah, I mean, it was terrific. They got pasta, um, and it's you know, it's all you can eat. It's a it's a, fr a buffet that comes with you know with the twenty five bucks. They also have a big raffle there. Mm -hmm. They give away things throughout the whole game. And oh, that's fun. I mean, while there were a lot of people there, it wasn't as packed as it's been in the past. So your your chances in the raffle are better than than normal. So, I mean, you know, they really do it right at Sapphire. And okay. if you really want to go and you've got to, let's say you got a group of guys that, or girls who want to go out and watch the game, you know, girls go to the strip clubs too. Yeah. But, I mean, usually a group of guys and you want to go catch a really good show for Monday night, Sapphire would be the play, 25 bucks a piece. All right. Sapphire it is. Uh, I've also been going to Sapphire for a long time, and uh, I find it to be one of the biggest and best uh, clubs in Vegas as well. All right. So, Anthony, so you said you went to 12. Uh, what's happening at the others? Just nothing? Are they pretty dead? Um, 
completely dead for, for, for Monday Night Football. Okay. Whereas, you know, places like uh, Hustler or, or Crazy Horse 3 used to have parties. They're open, but they don't. But what's really interesting is that big clubs like uh, Spearmint Rhino, mm -hmm. Treasures, mm -hmm. were closed. I mean, a place called the Library that for years was uh, was called Cheetahs here. Mm -hmm. It's now called the Library. They're not even open any, you know, yet. A mm -hmm. uh, place called Scores not open. Girl Collection, which was um, which is the uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather Club, uh, still closed at least on a Monday night. A place called Sophia's closed. So you know, the the strip club scene hasn't really revved up. That's one of the things that's really lagging in town. Mm -hmm. um, for those who are interested in this, you know, we don't bring this up very much, but we've got a we have LasVegasAdvisor.com, but we also have a sort of a sister website called TopLessVegasOnline.com. And um, that's run by Arnold Snyder, who happens to be a real uh, a star blackjack player. Uh -huh. But he's really into the strip club scene, mm -hmm. and Topless Vegas Online is, uh, um, keeps you up to date on what's going on. Yeah, so we'll put a link in the description box, uh, TopLessVegas.com, if you want to check it out. It's uh, super cool. Also, we uh, uh, talked about a book uh, that Arnold Snyder wrote uh, a few weeks back. Yeah. Um, that's he's, got, he's got like a, he's like a, like a dual life, you know? I mean, on one, on one side, he's a professional gambler and a, a blackjack expert, and on the other right. side, he's a strip club aficionado. I right. mean, he was writing a gigantic book. You were talking about a fire, you know, that happened at the lodge. He was writing a huge book on strip clubs all around the United States that was the whole manuscript was lost in the fire in Oakland oh, uh, no. you know a couple decades ago oh, so it's just something that Arnold's always done and he knows these things inside and out and I partnered with him and uh, and that's where Topless Vegas Online came from super cool so we'll check out Topless Vegas and also uh, if you're interested in Arnold Snyder Radical Blackjack is the name of the book that he wrote right. Okay, also in the comments, uh, people were wanting to know, how is Anthony doing in the Survivor series uh, taking place at Circa? Uh, how's it going this week, Anthony? Uh, what's the next subject, Andrew? Uh, <laughs> didn't go too well this week. Uh, you know, I was sitting around bragging about what a great tournament that was going to be, what a great contest, a big overlay and all that. Uh, we're down to one entry. We had five. Oof. We lost four out of the five. We, uh, we bet all four of those on the Steelers. Who lost to the uh, the hometown boys? The Raiders beat them, so we are all but out of that contest. The only thing that saved us there is uh, we put one down on the Cleveland Browns who came through. So still alive, but uh, not as excited as uh, as I was last week. Yeah, well, at least you're still in the game, so we'll continue to provide updates on the Circa Survivor Series. Um, but, but since we're going to talk about gambling, why don't you tell us your story? Uh, we we had a uh, we had a jackpot in the house. Here. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, so I was inspired because two weeks ago we posted the million dollar hit, the guy who was playing $1,250 a hand on 10 play uh, triple double bonus poker. So I went to Main Street and I decided to play $5 a hand. Oh, you weren't playing at a 25 bucks a hand? No, I was not. Uh, or, or 25 <laughs> bucks a hand. What he was he, he was putting in, he was playing 10 play. $25 unit times 50. Yeah, so he was playing yeah. whatever it was 12 1250 $1, a hand. Yeah. You were playing dimes. Right. I was pl I was playing dimes and um, I had a great time and I actually hit pretty quickly, which was fun and I'm going to post a little uh, video now. As Anthony has said, this game has a very high burn rate. So, you know, we'll see how long we can stay in the game. Uh, you're gonna you're betting uh, 10 cents times 50 so I'm essentially betting five dollars uh, a hand um, but the person who won a million dollars was betting 1250 a hand so a little bit of a difference here we go We can't keep going like this. Come on, baby, let's get some twos. Hey, there it is. Oh my goodness. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. <laughs> we got four twos with a kicker. That is 2,000. Uh, 10 cents, I think. 
So, yeah, that is um, awesome. Thank you. Uh, we're we're going to cash out. All right. All right. So, so nice. I mean, you didn't get it dealt. Right. And it wasn't 4000 per line, but it was 2000 It was yeah. you, had, uh, you had the deuces with the kicker? Is that yeah. What it, yeah. I, I oh. started with 50 bucks and I won uh, $200. That's pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice win. All right, Andrew. So you hit your jackpot. Mm-hmm. You know, we've talked about some others. Um, why don't you tell everybody about the idea we had? And, you know, they send in their they send in their own, right? Yeah. What we were thinking is that if we could get some of the people that are also gamblers who watch the show to send in your wins, we would love to talk about them, maybe analyze them, and post them uh, in future episodes. So I'm going to post right here an email address that you can send us your clips of your video wins, and we'll put them on the show. Yeah, even a even a standstill, you know, after you hit a royal or something like that, send it with your name and. Uh, We'll just give you a name check, if nothing else. Yeah, we'll give you a shout-out. We'll see how it goes. If it's boring, we won't do it. But if it's good, we'll keep doing it. Yeah. And finally, our mask update. Uh, Anything changed with the mask, Anthony? No. I mean, you know, again, I I, I hate to have an update that never changes, but it's there's been no changes in the rules there's been no changes in what you're expected to do there's been no changes in the level of oversight you know we saw in the comments uh, of the last video some people cooperating what we said is that you know people really are not enforcing it uh, in the casinos you're supposed to wear a mask you should wear a mask because it's the rule right now Mm -hmm. but um if you don't, you're not really going to get yelled at, you know? At yeah. least that's the way it's been. That's the way it certainly seems. Uh, I see a lot of masks on, noses out. I see... Uh, if you're Even coming, on employees. Yeah. Even on the employees. Yep. And, uh, which is surprising to me. They, yeah. were, they were so stringent about it the first time because they were so worried about getting in trouble. But it's almost like people don't care. Right. And I know that aggravates some people, you know, out there. But that's we're just reporting. That's the way it is. Yeah. And also, uh, so if you are coming to Vegas, remember, bring your mask. You do need it to get into all the casinos, restaurants, bars, etc. But it just really seems to be loosely enforced once you're in wherever it is you're going. That's right. Um, lastly, we wanted to remind people to click the bell. If you subscribe to the channel, please uh, click the bell. That way you get all the notifications uh, when we post. Yeah, I get a lot of people saying, you know, uh, I wish I'd known that it was up a couple days ago. And I guess the way you do that is you subscribe and, and, and you get notifications. So every time I watch somebody else's YouTube, they go through all that. Subscribe, do this, do that, whatever. We don't kind of do that very much. but. If you want to catch these things uh, from the start or early, then I guess that's what you need to do. Yeah, you'll click the bell. And that's it for this week. We'll see you next week.